well, from planes to pistachios, you get an idea there of what kinds of goods Iran wants to buy and sell and the potential. But the economic outlook for Iran is rather patchy. The economy should expand by nearly 6% this year. That's double the pace from a couple of years back. Much of that will be driven by oil. And even though global prices have crashed, some analysts think Iran will nearly double production of crude. But inflation in Iran is severe. Just a few months back, vegetable prices were rising as high as 20%. And that erodes people's purchase power and ability to consume more. Well, for more on Iran's economy and the future of doing business there, I'm joined by Nader Habibi. He's a Middle East economics professor at Brandeis University. Professor, many thanks indeed for joining us. Thank we you know for that, inviting me. We know that Iran uh, had managed to circumvent some of these sanctions while they're on it. It kind of struggled on uh, during these sanctions. But this is different now, isn't it? The gates are literally been opened for, this, for its economy. Well, yes, especially in terms of relations with Europe, economic relations, I think the barriers have been removed significantly. Uh, there are some um, uh, sanctions in place with regard to trade with the United States, and that's a different kind of uh, issue to, be, to consider for both sides. I'm glad you mentioned the United States because right. many of the companies here, they're not going to benefit from the end of these sanctions, are they? Uh, not immediately, but the U.S. government has authorized the foreign subsidiaries of U.S. companies to start doing business with Iran with the lifting of sanctions. But the main corporations that are active here themselves uh, still, I think, they have to wait for further clarification, given that uh, U.S. unilateral sanctions are still in place. That could take years, though, and you've got European... Uh, petroleum companies, you've got all sorts of European right. finance companies who are literally lining up to get into Iran. The U.S. could get left behind here. Yes, but the Iran has, at least uh, President Rouhani, has an incentive to invite American corporations because uh, they believe that American corporations can serve as a lobby in Washington to prevent further deterioration and a snapback sanctions if they have an interest in trading with Iran. And investing in Iran. So that's one factor that might actually encourage some U.S. companies or actually f provide some uh, opportunities for them to uh, go to Iranian market, although there are many other risk factors that should be considered. How quickly can an economy like Iran's bounce back? We know that the European mm -hmm. Union sanctions were in place for right. three, four, five years. How quickly can this country recover from what are years and years of, of economic hardship? It, it wouldn't be immediate. Iran is currently in a recession. It's partly because of the sanctions and partly because of the government policies, because government has been trying to reduce the inflation for the past two years um, with uh, monetary discipline. Uh, but uh, the release of funds that belong to Iran that have been frozen abroad uh, can inject some uh, financial capital into the economy. And of course, more important than that is the changing expectations uh, inside the country and potential for attraction of foreign investment. This year, I think Iranian economy in 2016 will probably uh, come out of recession slowly, maybe with 3% economic growth. But if the conditions are right, and uh, President Rouhani can implement his economic policies. In 2017 and 2018, we might see growth rates close to 5%. And do you think, how long do you think it will be before Iranians on the street will say, I am materially better off than I was, say, 12 months ago? Are we really going to see a trickle-down yes. effect? At the, at the end of these sanctions? I believe the, the benefit of the uh, lifting of sanctions would be felt even in 2016, because the banks can now transact with the international banking system. Uh, imports are easier. Um, tra exports of um, non-oil goods will increase. So the economy will see some benefit immediately that uh, customers would feel it. But in terms of significant change in economic conditions, that takes several years. A travel, for example, was very difficult. It would be easier. Planes would be safer. And the spirit of people, I think, would uh, improve um, economic spirit and economic attitudes. You mentioned uh, aircraft there. 
companies like Apple yes. are looking to try and get into Iran, going back to the kind of average Iranian, are they likely to have the kind of disposable income if economic conditions improve? Are they going to have the kind of disposable income to consume those kinds of gadgets? Uh, some of the consumer income uh, goods, yes. Uh, for example, computers, laptops. And also Iran already is a large market for automobiles and other consumer goods that are being imported. You have to keep in mind that uh, in 2016, Iran would receive about $30 billion of frozen funds. Uh, the oil revenues would be limited, but uh, the, the economy uh, is still functioning, and uh, some segments of the population do have uh, enough income to purchase consumer goods uh, uh, from, uh, that are imported. 